So now let's see how we can import STL files inside of Tinkercad. STL files are the supported format for import in Tinkercad, so we're going to use that out. But before that, I'm going to open up this application called 3D Builder for Windows to convert the file from one 3D format to the other. So I'm going to click open right here so that I can go around and load a project. So I'm going to click on load project so I can go on to my desktop where I have my board.3mf uh, format, which I can open up. So once I do that, there's the board, as you can see right here. This is the uh, chalkboard that we're going to save out. So I'm going to go around into the menu and then I'm going to click on save as and instead of 3mf, I'm going to select STL, which is the format uh, 3D, fill 3D Builder can, uh, can generate. So now I have actually saved it. So I'm just going to close this and now I'm going to go to import. And then over here, you can see that it supports STL, uh, OBJ and SVG files. So I'm just going to choose a file right here. There's the go, there's the STL file that we generated. So we're just going to open that up and click on import. So once we do that, it's importing the board.stl file as you can see right here. And then there's the board, which you can see is very tiny in size right now. So we're just going to resize it. So let's just press F to really zoom it in. And there you go, there's the board that we have right here. So I'm going to click and drag this by holding shift on my keyboard. Click and drag this right here. And there you go, this is the board that we have just like this. And there you go. This is the file uh, that was in um, that was in another format. It's been converted and is imported as um, um, as a file inside of Tinkercad. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.